Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson, and in this episode, we're going to do the color correction module. Let's go! The color correction module in Darktable allows you to create different color schemes by changing the colors in the highlights and the colors in the shadows. The white point resembles the highlights, while the black point resembles the shadows. The square is made up of different gradients of the colors red, green, blue, and magenta. The opposite colors of one and another are called the complementary color. You can use this module to create an artistic look or to adjust the white balance and or temperature of an image. This comes specifically in handy when you have a different color cost between the highlights and the shadows as we do in this image. The mountains are blue and the rocks are more yellow orangey like. Let's move the shadows towards the yellows and the highlights back to the center. Now you'll notice that the mountains have a more natural look and blend in with the image better than before. The saturation slider has a standard value of 1. If you want to decrease the saturation of the input pixels, you'll have to move the slider to the left. And if you want to increase the saturation of the pixels, you'll need to pick a value above 1. This module comes with its own presets and there are three to choose from. The first one is the cooling filter, the second one is the warm tone, and the third one is the warm filter. The warm tone and warm filter will add some orange to your image and the first one will add some blue. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see more of me, there's a playlist for you over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so by clicking that button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!